Hi, this is Elizabeth Varian. I am here with Tiber Limo's Andrea Santucci, and today we are talking about his limo tour in Roma, Italy, called the Inside Rome The Past Tour. Hello, Andrea. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Um, can you give um, the visitors a short description of what the Inside Rome The Past Tour is all about? Okay, uh, so Rome is an historical city and for sure for the people when they come to visit us they will know more about the history, okay? So that's why we want to try to sell what they want to buy and uh, it's a good little tour for get a little introduction of the city. So this city, there are so many things to see that if you want to really, really visit everything, if you want to really know the story, you need about six months. But, you know, with us, we try to introduce to you the, the city with a little, little tour. Wonderful. Can you tell me, um, how long is this tour? Is it going to take many days, one day? How long is it? Depend how hungry you are, okay? <laughs> hungry man's hungry over history, okay? Because as I said, if you want to see everything in Rome, you need months, okay? But in this case, we usually uh, approximate for, for a little introduction of the city, it could be enough. Uh, full day tour is in between 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning till 4.30, 5 p.m. with a little lunch break. Wonderful. Wow, that sounds like a great tour. And what, what am I going to see when I go on this tour? What sites? Well, we have a different historical sites. Uh, like uh, we usually start with the Colosseum early in the morning. This Colosseum is the first attraction that we get to see because especially in between 8.30 and 9 o'clock it's not really really crowded with people. Also because of the Colosseum you need, you need about 45-50 minutes for to go inside and then before you get out. Depends how long is the line. But still we, we suggest to take the people there for first. Then we continue the tour and other places like the Pantheon, like the Spanish Steps, like the Trevi Fountain. Each one of those, it's not too long like the Colosseum, it's a little bit shorter, it's about 20, 25, 15 minutes, depending on how long you want to stay. Okay? Places like the Trevi Fountain, for example, I mean, it's, uh, it's considered the attraction of the city just for three kinds, uh, for make the wishes, for three different wishes for three different kinds. But up there, just at the time when you threw the concert, it's enough 15 minutes. Wonderful. Now, you're there for quite a bit, it sounds like. At each one, it has different varying times. So you, you get to actually get a better taste and overview of each each attract or each site? Each site represents a different story, a different century. Okay? When you, it's possible, I mean, when you, when we go around, or when we drive around, each corner, you see represent a different century. So in other words, when you drive and we move from one corner to another corner, you can jump from a century and another century. So that's why each one of those places that I already mentioned it represent a different century or maybe a different millennium. Now, if I'm gonna take this tour, is there any special advice that you would have for me? Well, advices means depend when you come to visit the city. Okay, if you come in Rome in the summertime, for sure, especially in July, in July and August, it's very warm. Sometimes the temperature is in 95, 100 degrees. So that's just preferable. You bring with you sandals and very light clothes. Or maybe if you come in October, or November, when the time is start to raining, just bring with you a little umbrella. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of these. Um uh, sites, you probably need some good walking shoes, right? You yes, have you, because we have to no walk elevators. We don't have elevators. <laughs> Two thousand years ago, the elevator didn't exist yet. They tried to fit in a, in a building, some of them, but it's not enough big like yours. Now, I know I ask this a lot on our videos, but um, you have a tour, a limo driver. Yes. Um, when the tour is over, here in America, we never know when to tip and when not to give a gratuity. Um, do, do you suggest gratuity? Is it part of the price? Is it extra? Okay, the gratuity, the tip, is not included in the price that we mentioned it on the website, okay? So, the, uh, the tip is under your description, okay? If you want to leave, you can. If you don't want to leave, nobody can, ch can charge you any extras. Respect the amount that was scheduled for you. Oh, fantastic. That's good to know. 
Um, and just to kind of close, do you have any um, any extra words you'd like to say about the uh, tour inside Rome, the past? Come to visit us. You will see by yourself.